And so I particularly want to urge our young people, I want to challenge our young people, to think hard about this. Uh, many of you probably have an incoherent position. You've got a kind of meta-ethical view about the nature of truth that can't really support this view that you want to hold on human rights. So if you do want to hold the view on human rights, you need to think more about whether there is a ground, an ethical ground, a moral ground for believing that there's a foundation, there's a truth that's there, an, 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 an objective uh, uh, truth. I don't think that, that we will, over the long term, be able to uphold human rights and make progress in the many areas throughout the world, including in our own country, where we need progress uh, on human rights if people lose their faith in truth. So I think part of the project for those of us who do believe in human rights, seriously believe in human rights, who believe in them not because they're popular, but because we think they're true, part of the challenge for us and our job is to be more effective in making the case. And I don't mean just, moral, just uh, rhetorically effective. I mean to make the case better, make the stronger case, the strongest possible case for uh, a meta-ethical view that would provide a solid ground for belief in human rights.